everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a different kind of a video because today I am doing something fun with my friend Emily of the Sucky Seamstress. We are going to go be Victorians in the snow. <laughs> I'm so excited. I've always kind of wanted to do this and in fact a few years ago I even went on a January trip to Minnesota to be like a Victorian in the snow and there was like a little bit of snow on the ground when we went over to uh, Pepin, Wisconsin but otherwise it wasn't even snowy in Minnesota in January. So like I've always wanted to do this and I am very very excited to make this happen today. We are going to go over to the top of Snoqualmie Pass and go find some snow because I live in Washington at probably fairly close to sea level. I live in a valley and uh, it doesn't snow here. Maybe once a year, if I'm lucky. So we are going to go to the snow. Now, I am not used to snow because it doesn't snow here, so I'm not good at knowing how to dress for the snow. And it's going to be 35 degrees there. So like there's gonna be snow on the ground, but it's not gonna be snowing. And so like, I'm not really sure what to wear. So I kind of figured I would show you what I'm wearing first and how I'm layering things and then get in the car and go grab Emily and head over to the snow and then show you shenanigans. I'm gonna keep this horizontal style, so this might be challenging. But just to start off with, I am wearing a chemise, regular Victorian chemise, and then this is my 1870s corset. And then over the top of that, instead of a corset cover, I have grabbed a like cotton or cotton blend long sleeve knit shirt from Old Navy that I kind of feel like can work as like a base layer, question mark. And then down here on the bottom, instead of doing regular, you know, bloomers, drawers, etc., I'm actually wearing cotton leggings from Old Navy. I was trying to decide whether I wanted to wear tights or fleece line tights or leggings or what have you. And my fleece line tights tend to fall down. So like, that's not good when you're wearing a whole ton of layers because you can't pick them back up. My regular tights, I don't know, I kind of felt like they'd be maybe too thin or they'd make my socks try to fall down or something. So I didn't go with my regular tights even though I literally wear those every day. So I went with these which have a nice high waist and a large waistband so they're gonna stay up and in place. And then I pulled them over my socks. So I am wearing, <laughs> this is ridiculous. I am wearing knee socks uh, that come to just below my knee. These are from Sock Dreams. Unfortunately, I kind of think they discontinued this exact kind of knee sock, but I really, really love them. They were called like pebble rib over the knee, which they're not over the knee on me, but like pebble rib knee socks or something like that. And I have them in a ton of colors and they are just really awesome. I don't even know if you're in if that's in frame at all. But anyway, so that's what I'm, what I'm wearing on my feet. And I'm foregoing my Victorian boots. I've got like Tavistocks and the carriage boots from American Duchess, but neither of those are gonna be good if we're like walking in snow, I feel like. And we're going to a place that's like trails and stuff. And I just feel like that'd be stupid to bring either of those really nice expensive shoes. So I'm wearing my snow boots, which I bought for the outfit that I'm going to be wearing today before my Minnesota trip and have been worn maybe five times since then. And they are just like black, I think probably pleather kind of shearling lined modern boots, but they look not obtrusive, I guess. So they're not terrible. And then Outfit wise, I am going to be driving there and wearing for the most part my skating bustles. So let me show you the layers that go into that. Okay, so first off, these are my boots. Uh, again, they're just like from Payless years ago. And now I have to remember what layers I wear under this dress because I kind of think that I made this dress to not go over my lobster tail. I think this one just uses my bum pad. So we are going to, I don't remember. Actually, maybe it's just the lobster tail. We're gonna put both of them on and then I'll remove whichever one doesn't go because that's easier than trying to put it on after you put your skirts on. So I'm gonna put both of those on first. Over the 
top of that goes my quilted petticoat. And this is the same quilted petticoat that I showed you in the peppermint bustle video. And I only have one Victorian quilted petticoat, but this is a shorter skirt. It's a skating bustle. So what I've rigged up here, cause I made this for the Minnesota trip again. What I've rigged up is that the inside actually buttons to a series of buttons all along in here. And that way it picks up like about five or six inches shorter where I've just folded the hem up and buttoned it. So there's a whole bunch of buttonholes and a whole bunch of buttons and it makes the quilted petticoat a lot shorter. I'm already getting warm. Okay, so there is my quilted petty. I know this is really bad and I should have done this vertically because I can't get far enough away from this camera, but this is a vlog, so. Next up is my skirt. It is a shorter skirt made out of wool and it has fur trim and pleats on the bottom. And I maybe should have done my corset tighter. I tried to not do my corset very tightly because we have to drive an hour, but I'm a little worried that the bodice isn't gonna fit because the hooks and eyes are like just fitting. Okay, apparently I did make this to go over both the lobster tail and the padding, so I'm just gonna have to deal with that while I drive. Um, well, I'm luckily only driving a half hour or 20 minutes to Emily's house and then she's driving, so I at least get a little bit more room maybe in the passenger seat, but it's kind of annoying to be in the car with all that. And actually that's not it because now I have the overskirt and it's so short because it's made to go for a short skirt. of black wool and now I'm going to attempt to put my bodice on over these sleeves which I've never done before because again I've never worn this in actual cold except maybe on Halloween it was kind of cold but like not snowy or anything okay I think it worked let's see if it will button by the way is trimmed with fur actual fur that I got from a vintage fur coat that I found at a junk sale for literally a dollar it was torn like all over I mean this coat was in completely unwearable condition but I had this project I think coming up in the back of my mind at the time and it worked perfectly for this. Okay, I'm actually gonna leave this neck open for now until we get there because I'm already dying. So let's go jump in the car. We are on route to Snoqualmie Pass area and uh, it's, I don't know, it's very dry here. I mean, we're still only about halfway there. Um, and we went through a rain patch, which was great because that wasn't supposed to happen. And it's supposed to be 38 degrees now when we get there, so I really hope that there's snow. The traffic cams show that there is snow, so hopefully we will find that. But I will show you what it looks like now. Because it's pretty. Look at that pretty road with the clouds. We are on I-90 heading east. We're getting close to the snows. Which now you can't see because we're at a different angle from the mountain. There's some snow out there. Yay for snows! It is just a few minutes later and we have reached snow levels. There's snow on our level. Look at that. And there's also some blue sky. That was unexpected but nice. So exciting. We're getting close. We're like 10 minutes away from snow, snow land. I don't know. From Snoqualmie. We are here in Snowland. Yeah. It is very snowy all over. La 
up the snow. We are not sure exactly where we're going or how to get there other than following this trail. And it's an experiment. It's definitely cold. My fingertips are cold. I just have on like regular vintage style black gloves. Jeez, yours are really cold. I'm so smart. <laughs> And uh, the masks are doing a good job to keep my face warm, and the hair is doing a great job to keep my head warm. <laughs> and I did put on my little cloaky thing because it's cold. But the rest of me is fine so far, it's just my fingers. So one of the things that I got for playing with the snow, uh, the only thing that I got for playing in the snow, I saw this video on Facebook, and then I bought it from Wish. I got a snow shaper that's a duck. And I'm gonna make some ducks and leave them in the snow because I'm five. So uh, we found this snowmanny type thing, and I figured that was the perfect thing to leave ducks with. So Emily's gonna film me doing some duckness. One duck coming right up. Um, oh, ducky fell! Oh no! He lost his head! Who knew? Oh, let's try again. Okay. Okay, let's do a reveal here. Oh, Ducky lost his butt that time. Well, he's kind of a half duck. Duck! to see if there's a fall off on the snow over here. I just want to go to the tree. Go to, you're not going to get to the tree. <laughs> well, okay. Is this like crossing the pond again or the stream? Oh my gosh. You can see it falling off. Like. Everything's fine. I'm okay. Are you okay? Yes. I think it's weight bearing. <laughs> Are you okay? I thought it was very cool. Are you alright? I'm so fun and I can't give up. Do you want me to stop recording and come help you? I can do this. I'm a lady. Ladies can get up. I just gotta like get momentum. Do you, do you want help? <laughs> I'm good. See? I'm up. I have conquered. Don't fall back down. Now I can go up again. Did we learn nothing? <laughs> I live here now. Yep. Here, wait. Stay there. I'm gonna take still pictures too. This is my new address. Smile. Pile of snow, top of mountain. Snoqualmie. Snoqualmie. <laughs> Let's watch as Emily extricates herself from knee-deep snow. That's my knee! <laughs> right there! Well, now it's a petticoat, but... Oh! Are you going to show your knees? Those are my knees! Oh my goodness! But one of them is in the snow! Come on! <laughs> Do you want my help? Just tell me if you want my help. Otherwise, this is very entertaining. My foot is going sideways. So I need to go sideways too. <laughs> Do you... <laughs> Do you want help? I have, <laughs> I have succeeded. Except don't put your weight over where your feet is because it will go down again. So now I have to treat it like a frozen pond. <laughs> <laughs> An army man crawl. <laughs> Out of the snow. Okay, there you go. <laughs> what is the lesson that we are learning here? Do not try to go to the trees. Stay on the path, kiddos. Or costumers. 
Take my hand. <laughs> Where are all the men? Where are all the men? Are you saying I can't help you? <laughs> Don't roll back into the drift. How? What did they fell? This is the slow and the fury, the slow and the funny <laughs> Snoqualmie did, drift. How did they get back up? Give me your hand. Oh, Emily. Every time I put something in the snow, give me your it hand. sinks. <laughs> give me your hand. She made it. She yeah. made it out. Look at all that snow. How do you feel, Emily? I go home now. No, we let's play in the snow. I go sleep now. No. Go skating! challenge but with ice ducks <laughs> my mouth is cold you ate all my ducks i just don't even know what i'm doing or saying anymore <laughs> have a duck on my shoulder i don't know what song <laughs> this is <laughs> duck 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 Duck, 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 duck. So we are midday through the day. Emily has gotten a little bit damp from snow and we've been playing with ducks and it's fun and it's snowy and it's really freaking bright out here. So it's also like really warm. I probably did not need to put on that extra layer I think it said it was supposed to be 37 degrees today and it feels warmer because it's sunny and we're not used to sun. Uh, don't worry, I did put sunscreen on. She's going to cover her face with that uh, shawl <laughs> um, so that we can be well protected. We still haven't even got to the pond that we were like trying to get to. So we're going to go a little bit further in. We've been hanging out in this like parking lot area because it's flatter and we can play more and so it's fun that way. But it's <laughs> it's been a very fun snowy adventure so far. Maybe more fun for me than Emily. Falling is hard or soft, I guess, if it's in snow. I don't live here now. 
we're gonna keep walking and keep exploring and keep having fun and leave some ducks some places and yeah well we haven't found the pond yet but we found a little creek or something like that and it's very very pretty and snowy out here very nice so I guess we have to walk a little bit further before we find other things. We found a beaver dam. Look at their hard work. It's very lovely. Good job, little beaver. Not that we see any beavers. It's so pretty and snowy and we say hi. Hi. O-M-G. Look at how freaking gorgeous this is. That is the pond right there, that flat expanse that is covered in snow. We're pretty sure that that's the pond. And there's an island in the center, and there's like people on the pond. What the heck? So naturally, uh, we are not going to go in the pond because little, little women, women scarred us <laughs> for life. We can't, because if we take one step onto that pond, we will fall, fall through, through the ice. ice like Amy, because that is just what happens. So um, as much as I really, really want to like kind of stand on the pond and I kind of wish that I brought like ice skates or something, also the idea of it terrifies me. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna venture closer, but probably not on. No. I'm going to brave it. I am not. It doesn't feel like it's a pond or anything at all. Like, I don't even know that there's ice under here. It just feels like ground. I'm still staying up here. <laughs> Just in case. You're braver than I am. It's compact snow on top of it too, I guess. Someone built like a snowman family up there. Oh, that's so cute. I feel very brave. I don't know why. So, oh, I'm falling in the snow. So this has been just absolutely amazing. I actually walked on the pond. How crazy is that? I faced my fear. It didn't even feel like a pond. It felt like it was just ground that was flat. So I'm very proud of myself for doing that. I don't know that I'll be doing it anytime soon, but it felt very safe. I mean, there's been tons and tons of people out on there just doing whatever. And I even tried to go like scoop up some of the snow at some point to see if I could see ice underneath. I can't. So I don't know where the pond is, but I think it's somewhere back there. But oh my God, this place is just gorgeous. I'm so, so glad that we came out here. Unfortunately, it was way too far of a walk from the car to go back and get my other dress. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm also very happy that I wore the skating bustle and not the other dress because that dress drags on the ground. It's huge, it's heavy. It would have been really hard to walk out here. I think this was probably about uh, it, it was definitely over a mile. The loop itself is supposed to be a mile and then we had to walk the road to get to the loop because the road was all closed by snow. So I think that overall we're probably going about three miles. So I'm very glad that I'm wearing my skating bustle and then I'm wearing these modern shoes with traction on the treads. Sorry about the dogs barking. There's lots of dogs here. I kind of wish I'd lain, but also he's not good with other dogs. So that wouldn't have been great. But yeah, I'm very glad that I wore a shorter dress and that I have the traction with treads. It is starting to get a little cool now. It was quite warm before when the sun was out, but Emily and I are going to be heading back to the car now. So I will see you when we maybe get back to the car. All right, we are back in the car now. Emily is 
warm. Uh, we took our trek back. I just checked my step counter, like my Fitbit. Now I don't know how many I had before I got here, but I now have 7,400. So it was quite a bit of a walk. I think again that it's like close to three miles, but I'm really not sure. How long were we out there first off? Do you know what time we got here? Cause I don't. I think we got here like around one or something yeah so i think we've been here for about three hours out in the snow um my arms are cold so i am glad that i put that shirt underneath i know i was warm at one point but my arms did wind up cold and uh, they are still a little cold like right here so definitely worth having that shirt underneath my fingertips also got cold again i was wearing like fashion vintage gloves i never put on my mittens and also by the way my arms getting cold i never put my uh little capelet type thing back on nor did i put my muff on i carry them back in my tote bag and i just didn't feel like putting them on so that's my own fault that i was cold i wasn't wearing outerwear <laughs> and breathing wise because remember we're doing all of this Ugh. in corsets for me i had a problem with my mask i was wearing a mask that's like super filtered it's three layers of supima cotton and so it's very hard to breathe through so that was difficult and i was luckily able to take my mask off for some of the walk back because we didn't have people around us so that was good because once i took the mask off i could breathe pretty easily emily story on breathing just i i can breathe <laughs> and emily unfortunately had shoes that were not comfortable so that was not great for the walk back sadly i have feet <laughs> so my feet did fine in my snow boots even though i've hardly ever worn them yeah so it worked all well and i'm happy with everything someday hopefully i'll get pictures in the snow in the green dress and also in elsa it would be great but i would have frozen if i <laughs> frozen <laughs> that was unintended i would have frozen if i had been wearing elsa ironic there but yeah it was really really fun overall i'm so glad that we did this just very very fun my hair fell. and <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh it is going sideways now it was fine before um but yeah it was very fun and hopefully you enjoyed this video i'm gonna close that out here because i'm probably gonna take my hair off on the ride home oh yeah by the way i had two hair pieces that tried to make an escape uh, my hair is made up of four different curly hair pieces and they don't they don't have bases so they're just kind of like tied at the top and then i pin them to my head and so when we got out of the car initially, one of the hair pieces was trying to make an escape. And when we were out at the pond, another hair piece was trying to make an escape. So that's fun. Anyway, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please go ahead and click the thumbs up icon. And if you'd like to see more videos like this from me, please go ahead and click subscribe and the little bell icon to be notified every time I post a video. I do post videos here on YouTube twice a week with sewing vlogs out on Tuesdays and other sewing content or costuming content out on Saturday days but I post every day over on my Instagram so please go follow me on Instagram that's at Lady Rebecca Fashions and if you'd like to support me in all of the work that I do on this channel I do have a link to my Patreon and my Ko-fi accounts down below. Once again thank you so so much for joining me have a wonderful week and I will see you very soon in my next video. Happy sewing!